It never occurred to me that I would be on television. I always assumed that if I were going to be in broadcasting, I would be on radio because that's what I had cut my teeth on and that's what I hoped. Uh, I, I thought that the look uh, would not be right for uh, someone, uh, as my voice began to change, it was clear that I didn't, I didn't sound the same way I looked. I looked like a very callow 14-year-old and I sounded like a 30-year-old man. So I thought radio would probably be my best bet. I had a wonderful, uh, later, uh, wonderful conversation with a man named James Haggerty. James Haggerty was at that time the president of ABC News. And he had been, at one day, was a New York Times reporter, and he had also been uh, Dwight David Eisenhower's press secretary before he became the president of ABC News. I was at that time a young television announcer in Lexington, Kentucky. I was about 25, I suppose, and I looked younger than that. And I was doing the weekend news, which was my dream. And I did it all. I did news, weather, and sports. I wrote it all. I had one photographer. We would go out and shoot everything we could shoot, and I'd come back and write it. And he was coming to speak to the University of Kentucky, and since we were the ABC station, we would host him. And I went out to meet him at the airport. And on the way in, I was brave enough to say, Mr. Haggerty, he was a very crusty old fellow, Mr. Haggerty, I'm doing the news tonight. If you get home uh, to back to the hotel in time, would you take a look at my newscast and see what you think? A lot of hubris for that age. And uh, he said, yeah, 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 sure, sure. And uh, next day I went to pick him up, take him back to the airport. He didn't say anything. And I finally said, uh, did you watch the newscast? He said, yeah. I said, what'd you think? He said, uh, did you write it? I said, yes. He says, okay, you can write. He says, you can talk. He says, well, look, kid, I look at your face. I see a fellow who has never missed four mortgage payments. His wife has never cheated on him. He's never had a really bad accident that scarred his life. Nothing bad has ever happened to you. Why in God's name should I believe anything you say? Why? Why should I care? He said, I have the same problem at ABC. I got a young guy. He's great, good looking kid. He said, I have him anchoring now, but I'm going to have to kick him off the anchor desk. He has to go out and live some. Uh, he says, you, you, you've probably seen him, haven't you? Haven't you seen Peter Jennings? on the air? And I said, yeah. He says, well, he's about your age, maybe a little older. He says, nobody believes him. I've got to send him out somewhere and season him out. You go out and live a little bit and then do some news, maybe. He says, but it's going to take you 10 years.